So today I wanted to make this video talking about the ego. I think it's very important to talk about the ego and to understand the ego. Um, it's definitely been a huge part of my spiritual journey and I think that when you become aligned with your spirit and you are able to depict the differences between an ego want or a heart-rooted desire or things that just come from your soul and things that just come from your ego, you know? Being able to depict those two things are very important and something that I try and practice every day. So I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what I know and you know, if you have any advice or you have anything that you wanna share about the ego, go ahead and subscribe and also leave it in the comments. And thank you guys for listening. So let's start off by talking about what the ego actually is. So when you think about the ego, you think about like, okay, like egotistic, what does that mean? That just means that you like love yourself. No, but like for me, ego is what actually makes this character that I'm living in earth right now. So Camilla, me, that's my ego. That's what separates me from being different than anyone else is having my individuality. So in a way, the ego is like a love-hate relationship that you have to balance in your life because you need the ego here to be able to express yourself and to be able to do the things that you want to do that make you you. But you also have to have a healthy relationship with your ego, which is being able to, you know, let yourself be guided more through your heart than through your mind because a lot of your mind is clustered with just egotistic thoughts. So being able to, I don't like saying control, but more being more aware and being in more of a state where you can try and correct yourself in the way that you think and the way that you acknowledge your ego, I think is something super important. You know, the ego is something that moves in fear. Your ego is always in the back of your head. It's that little voice that is super comfortable with everything that you've done, that it's super scared to take any next steps to the things that you have and the things that you want. So your soul and your heart and your higher self is something that, you know, you feel inside you, the fire that burns, the inspiration that you get. The things that come to mind that have no limitation to you in that moment because they seem fearless because it's coming through your heart, it's coming through your higher self. The ego is always there to bring you down and to always like remind you of the comfortability that you've had to not be able to move forward or not be able to actually do more than what you've already done. The ego always feeds on wants, always wants more. So the more that you manifest through your ego and you don't learn to depict the differences from the ego and the higher self, the more that you're always going to be left empty. When you do become aware of why you want something and you become understanding of why you want the specific desire and you realize that it's something from the ego you realize that's something that it wouldn't really feed your soul that's something that would just feed your desires here on in the materialistic world that we live in and that's something that's always going to leave you empty not that's going to actually fulfill your soul so we develop an ego at a very young age you know we start realizing what we want 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 and as you grow older your ego only gets bigger so trying to manage the ego and being able to work with it through life to help you manifest the things that you do want both you know desires that you might just want and things that actually you need in your life and things that you should be open to and you should be opening yourself up to all the possibilities that can be for you instead of trying to block everything out but you know when you connect more to your higher self i've personally had the experiences of being a lot more in tune with my spirit and being a lot more in tune with what my heart truly wants and not really paying attention to my mind and paying attention to those egotistic thoughts that might take control of what I want in my life in that moment and might even change the way that I think about certain situations. So when you also educate yourself on your higher self and trying to be in tune with that and connecting and aligning yourself mostly with your spirit, then the easier it's going to become to be able to get away from that egotistic self and get a little bit of space from that ego because sometimes we need to be able to really be ourselves and I think our ego is what makes us blend in with the world what makes us 
what fades us away from the reality of who we truly are and that's all that we really need to be doing is in life is being centered being aligned and finding balance to try and fulfill the things that we want you know instead of asking what do i want from life a more powerful question is what does life want from me that's a very powerful quote by eckhart tolle who's the author of power of now something that i truly try and live by because the moment that you take a step back and you ask yourself okay what can i offer what is it that i can bring to the table what is it that i can give it just takes you a little bit it takes you a step back into into your true self into realizing what what your purpose is instead of being so ego driven it's hard to depict these differences and that's why understanding them and being more educated on them can definitely bring awareness to you and can definitely make a change in the way that you start thinking the way that you start doing things and in the way that you start trying to find your purpose in the way that you start trying to understand your purpose it's definitely done that for me for example so when you're trying to manifest from the ego it makes a huge list of things to check off and things that you specifically need in your life when you're trying to manifest from your higher self it's a little bit different you kind of know the question you kind of know the intention and that's the most important thing there is the intention you know the intention that you want with your manifestation with your desire and that intention alone doesn't even need to be restated that intention alone sets the whole purpose for your manifestation and it alone should attract the things that you need for your path you might be trying to manifest something so hard and not even realize that your manifestation is so ego driven that it's so hard for you to manifest because you've blocked off so many possibilities a lot of people think that's scary or they think like oh i can't just like well me personally when i first started learning about this it's like no i can't just sit back and let life happen it's like i was I am a very planned out person, I have a plan, I, I want to execute these plans, but sometimes being a little bit too specific with these plans can put you in a hole, it can definitely, definitely hurt you emotionally by having expectations, period. So I think what it means by um, authors and people talking about like having trust in the universe and different teachers talking about, you know, surrendering to the universe and surrendering to your path in life and just being guided by the divine guidance of your path is you know working inwards really really connecting with you with yourself with your spirit with your soul with your higher self really taking the initiative to work inwards because when you are aligned and i think the most important thing to manifest anything is to be the most aligned with yourself that you can be therefore when you are aligned things come so easily and sometimes we look at others and we're like dang like they're so young or like excuse me i have a little head cold but you know we look at others and we compare ourselves and we get into these like very low emotions comparing ourselves to others and we wonder why it's not working for us and sometimes we just need to dig deeper into ourselves and connecting with ourselves and being able to understand ourselves on every level of emotion and just keeping that connection because you know once you're aligned things come so easily the people that we do see successful and that we look up to and we're like wow you know there's an alignment with their soul and with their passion and with what they're trying to do in life and their manifestations it all comes from the heart it's all coming from their higher self sometimes people don't even notice how connected they are and you know it literally feels like a superpower i definitely have had moments in my life where i know i've been aligned i feel super aligned and the best things happen to me and my what i'm trying to do is just get back to those moments you know try to keep that alignment because once that alignment's there it's just like a flow a beautiful energy that gets thrown into your life that you just get to work with and you get to fulfill all of your manifestations if you wanted to through this flow of being open with your higher self being open and trusting yourself your higher self and letting go of the detachment and attachments that you have to your ego and fears and all of that kind of stuff surrendering is probably one of like the hardest things in spiritual practice that I think that I've I'm still working on and I think forever I'm gonna be working on this <laughs> there's always different things that you have to surrender to or different emotions that you have to surrender 
and by surrendering attachment and expectation is how we're going to be closer to our spirit, how we're going to be closer to our higher self. Because in that moment that we do give up and surrender attachment and expectations, you are only going to be living through your spirit because the ego is the only thing that lives through expectations and attachments. I think having an ego death can definitely do a lot for you. I think that my personal, when I personally had like my first like ego death experience, um, what I learned most from it was compassion and that's something that everyone needs in the world. I think we're spreading it pretty well right now and I think that the more of us that carry on and can bring this type of compassion and can bring these types of you know awakenings and um, understanding of the ego it can bring us all into oneness and that's like a complete different level of like spirituality that I want to be out with everyone all my friends family and everything you know like having an ego death really opens your eyes to understanding that you are the same as everything around you and that includes animals that includes plants that includes every living object and frequency and vibration and everything that makes your reality real at this moment is all happening at once and is all oneness so by having an ego death by understanding what the ego is and letting go of it and understanding that we are so much more than this character that we sit here and play every day and understanding that under this vessel is the same through every human is something that really changes the way of thinking i mean it's completely changed so many things in my life that i think has led me to a healthier lifestyle like i think one of the main things that i see that is being super popular right now is like people turning to veganism and i think it's wonderful because more and more people are becoming compassion more and more people are letting go of their ego more and more people are realizing that you know we have all of the things that we need especially with the technology we have nowadays to be able to not kill animals and be nice to each other and be kind and just compassion and understanding oneness, understanding universal consciousness. Oh, my neck just cracked. <laughs> but understanding universal consciousness and letting go of the ego kind of brings you to that. So if you are trying to hire consciousness and you know you're trying to practice connecting with your higher self, you're trying to practice letting go of your ego, start by really trying to understand universal consciousness and really try and understand that we really are one as cliche as that seems and the ego is something that tries to tell you or make you feel like you are more important than anyone else and it's not like that and we are all the same we are all having the same experience going through the same emotions on the same boat and you know we just need to evolve and I think we are evolving I think that all of us are really reaching a higher level of consciousness day by day and I think it's beautiful to see especially like my generation and even people younger than me being able to acknowledge and being able to understand themselves from such a young age to be able to see what we're gonna be in the future because if we're doing this now then there's only great things to come in the future so <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me in my little cold here, but I really wanted to share that and um, I will be doing my next video soon. So thank you guys for being here and listening to me. Please subscribe to my channel, comment, 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 whatever you want. <laughs> and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Thank you.